Hey guys, welcome to another video from Homesteading Off the Grid. Just wanted to share a project I've been working on this week with you. Cutting up this giant red oak log. Zoom in on it there, there's my chainsaw. You see the last slab I cut off is wider, longer than the chainsaw. I'm using an 18 inch pulling chainsaw. And I brought the tape measure out. This log is actually 36 inches wide. So this is difficult. I need to cut it down both sides. I've been working on it for about a week off and on I mean I just maybe an hour in the morning an hour in the afternoon all week and here's the the wood pile I've gotten from it so far these are some nice hefty chunks of red oak and they are going to burn for a long time red oak burns long slow and very hot so it's excellent firewood there's my ladder I've had to get this okay this is a big log it's been a project and it's going to take me a while before I finish it but uh, I'm just going to share some of the work with you here on the video. There's another big slab I cut this morning. We have a very healthy poplar tree here that's about 20 feet high. It's been growing really well. So this next cut, I'm going to make sure not to cut down this poplar tree. I'm going to protect this so we can keep this. So I'm going to come down here. And the, the key to cutting logs this big when you have to make multiple cuts is making straight cuts. Not veering off, which is easy to do as your arms get tired. Okay, and I don't have the highest quality chainsaw in the world. It's a pulling. You can get them at Walmart for like $129.99. And as the old adage says, you get what you pay for. If I had a steel farm boss, this log would probably be gone already, but I don't have a steel farm boss. So then I'll be coming over to the other side. You see I got offline a little bit there with my last cut. And then I'm going to have to make sure I stay in a straight line down this side in order to connect with the line I made on the other side. That thing is huge. Look at that. I wear a size 12 boot. And that thing is whew, just big. It's a big log, but we figure there's enough. There's going to be enough firewood in here. It's uh, January 27 right now. We, we still have plenty of firewood for this winter. Let's see. On the back porch over there. I cut up a bunch of locusts last week. That's in there. This camera's a little blurry. I've been breathing on it. It's cold out. But at any rate, we're going to have enough firewood in here to last the rest of this winter. Should be all of next winter and going into the winter after that. And it's free. Other than my time and the chainsaw chains I go through at about $14 a pop. And, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to set this here and I'm going to get to work. Now, got to be careful how you place the ladder. Make sure it's stable. Wear your safety glasses, all these things. Enjoy watching me cut up this giant red oak tree. Always got to be safe.
success. I'm going to show you something. You probably saw it looked like I didn't know what I was doing because I was being very hesitant there before I made that second cut. Actually, I knew exactly what I was doing before I made that second cut. That's why it seemed like I was being hesitant. Sounds like an oxymoron. Let me explain. Look how even the surface is. As big as this was, and I had to cut through on both sides, it's almost as if only one cut went through. I barely veered. Well, actually, I didn't even veer. Shoot, that's not even a quarter of an inch right there. Difference as I got down here. But, uh, and it's not because I'm gifted. It's through trial and error. Let me tell you, I got my cuts off a few times with some of the first big ends, end pieces I took off of this. And basically what I had to do was do entirely recut, recut the log. What's deceiving is what's straight on one side of a log this big, this side, this size, is not always the same as the straight on the other side as far as, this is always going to be cut at a different angle because of the way the log lays. But uh, for instance, if you see over here, one I cut earlier today, I wasn't as, as careful. And I got way off, and it took me, I mean, it took me a few minutes to cut the piece I just cut, as you can tell, but it took me 20 minutes to do this piece because I had to go in and do a couple of recuts. And that's because I didn't stay straight on my line. So, again, it's not that I'm gifted, I'm far from perfect. Uh, everybody that knows me would tell you that. But now, but that one was good. I stayed straight on both sides, so that got it off. Now, this is a huge, ginormous piece of red oak and now I'm probably going to have to cut this one again because when you're dealing with logs this big you really have to do cross cuts cut them this way and then stick them up on their ends like this and use your chainsaw and cut slabs that's what I've been doing that's why you see my firewood over there looks like big blocks like rectangular blocks that's because I slice these up into slabs and then split the slabs with my splitting maul my axe I don't use a splitting machine I use an axe I get a good workout out of this. But at any rate, that one there is much thinner. So I'll just be able to stand that one up like that one on its side. Cut straight down through it. But the reason this one was made so thick is because I wanted to protect that poplar tree. As I said at the beginning of the video. And it looks like we did a good job of that. When that log fell, it didn't even touch it. So we're going to have us continue to have a very beautiful young poplar tree here that's going to grow and provide shade and provide places for the birds to perch. We just, we love trees. This old field back here used to be local farm used to use it for hay, and well, not anymore. We're letting it grow back up in the forest. We're using the front field for our yard and our tree farm we're working on. No more hay field here. So at any rate, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm going to get back to work here, cutting down this probably 180-year-old, or not cutting down, but cutting up this 180-year-old red oak tree. And even though it's been laying here for about 20 years, Look at that, you cut inside and it's still just as moist and green as if you just took it down. Alright, please subscribe to our channel if you guys enjoyed this video. And join us next time for more videos from Homesteading Off the Grid.